I think the benefit's going well. Don't you, Eve? Very well. <laughs> and it's all thanks to your hard work as co-chairperson that the flea market is making so much money. Well, as the wife of Harmony's new police chief, I'd like this to be the most successful police benefit ever. It will be. Sam has every right to be so proud of you, Grace. <laughs> Grace, who's that boy over there with Simone? I've never seen him before. Looks like a nice boy. What is it, Mom? Well, who's that boy you're talking to? I don't know. He was looking for a jacket, and I was helping him look for a jacket. Hmm. Well, I want you to stay away from him. But why? Because I don't know who he is, and he looks like a street kid. Mom, that isn't fair. He's so nice. No. He's definitely bad news. Mom, I can't believe you're being so judgmental. You don't even know him. Well, neither do you. So just do as I say. It's the hospital. You think it's charity? Find out in a minute. It's Dr. Russell? Oh, she is. All right, uh, I'll, I'll be right there. It's Charity. She's gained consciousness. Oh my God. I have to get down there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with you. You. Remember what I said. But, Mom, that's final, Simone. Charity, she's awake. You're kidding me. We're heading to the hospital right now. Can you guys look after things? Just go. I'll meet you there later. Don't worry about a thing. We'll take everything here. Okay, thanks. See you later. Charity woke up. Yeah, I know. I talked to the nurse when I came in. She said that Charity was very upset when you got close to her. Yeah, she acted like she was afraid of me. Why would she act like that? I don't know, Miguel. I'm just going to have to examine her. Kay's in there with her. Yeah, she really helped Charity calm down. Oh, good. Grace, I think I don't want you to go in there just yet because she might think you're her mother since you and Faith were identical twins. I'm so sorry about your sister, Mom. Thanks, Jessica. It's just, it's gonna be so much harder for Charity when she finds out that she doesn't have her mother. Well, we don't want her to know until she's stronger. That's why I prefer you to wait out here. Of course. Charity? I'm Dr. Russell. I remember. So how are you feeling? I'm not sure. I'm just really glad that I have my cousin Kay here. Oh, me too. Thank you, Kay. I understand that you were very instrumental in reassuring Charity. Tabitha, what are you doing here? I was just visiting the poor little thing. I I'll step outside now so you can do your examination. I don't care what Grace says, that woman is odd. Okay. How's Charity, Dr. Russell? Well, physically, she's doing amazingly well. But the strange thing is that she doesn't seem to remember anything about the fire. And what's even stranger is she doesn't seem to want to remember anything. Poor Charity. Did you find out why she acted so afraid of me? I don't know, Miguel. It's a mystery to me. Maybe Kay knows. Don't you, Kay? Why don't you tell everyone why Charity's behaving this way? Jessica, why do you think Kay knows why Charity acted so afraid of Miguel? Well... She was talking to Charity just now. Jessica, do you think Charity said something to Kay when she was in there? Well, she didn't. Miguel, if she had, you know I would have told you. I have no idea why Charity reacted that way. I just wish I could go in there and comfort her. I think you should wait, Grace. Just give her a little more time. Luckily, she hasn't asked for her mother yet. And she's still so confused. <laughs> 